today on The Real. Start the clock. We've got 60 minutes for glam. Come on out. And it's time to pay your bill, all right? Your bill is paid. Plus, Margaret Cho is here. We comic sisters. On The Real. Hey, guys. OK, before we get started, I had to have you meet Anika. Emailed us about getting some help because she wants a makeover. Mm -hmm. Now, Anika lost her confidence and her sense of style, so she reached out to us stylist gals because you knew you we were going to take care of you. All right, now, of course, we want to help her out, so we decided to give her a full glam over. And guess what? 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 We are doing it in 60, 60 minutes, minutes or less! Hey! Yeah! So, Anika, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm so excited. Yay! Yes! Yes! Good, so we're happy about this. It's time to start the clock. Matt, let's start the show! Okay. Sexy, sexy, sexy. First of all, Jeannie and I were discussing this. <laughs> I am sorry, I see acting in your future. Yes. Oh, yes. Call me Cleo. Call me Cleo. I'm totally doing a psychic moment right now. Call my hotline. Thank you very much. But Tamar Braxton, you were giving me actress, like when you started the scene in the desk, and you were like, whatever that yeah. move was, I felt it in my spirit, I believed you. And the face, the facials, right? Speaking, yeah. of, business. Speaking of the scene, yes. did you did you choose the, the, the what was it? It was the Mad Men scene? The, the, no, the, the actually, theme? I, no, uh-uh. I actually never seen Mad Men before okay. you know, last week. Mm. And, um, you know. Love the honesty, keep yeah, it real. Yeah, but you know, like, it's so funny to me because one of the judges said that um, I need to let Val take charge. Yeah. Yes. Lies, he takes all the charge. <laughs> so you had a hard time letting Val take charge? No, he's been taking charge since week one. Okay. Yeah, you know, from my hair. Like, I'm telling you, I promise, he's like the skinny white version of Vince. Like, <laughs> no, really, honestly, he's like, no shade. <laughs> I leave one and go that. to the other. It's like, okay, so how you gonna wear your hair? Okay, I was thinking, mm, maybe black bangs. Really? Yeah, he did the whole thing. He did, did the whole thing. But he been right. right. That. I was He's been right. Yeah, to the outfit. Look great. So you know, I know how to you know take a back seat and be a great student because mm -hmm. you know I signed up to learn how to really really dance. And you're doing so it, I, girl. And you're doing you know, it. allow the process to. Wait. <laughs> All that matters, and you can see it. Yeah, that we're was having, amazing. We're having a blast watching it. I watching know. Watching it all for you. And so I can't fun. wait because coming up is the switch up week where you're yeah. actually going to swap dance partners. So, who would you want to dance with, Jay? Um, I don't know. Because well, I can't imagine dancing with anybody other than Val. Yeah. You know, but I, yeah. I do like Derek, and you know, I do like. Uh, he'd be a great partner. Yeah, he's good. He's really mm -hmm. nice. And he's a creative director. I'm a real creative person. I wonder how that's going to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what about uh, Gary Busey? Oh, gee. You can't He's a dance. contestant, you nut. I can't oh, teach him now. He's a team guy. Look, look at him. Oh, he was Adam's my God. family. <laughs> look at get it, baby. He's hanging get in there. Look at, look at, look at. Drunk uncle. Really look at, so crazy. drunk uncle. Look just... at, get it. <laughs> OK, so Derek would be your choice. Well, not really my choice. I think it'll be fun, but you know, I, I just don't want to, you know, leave Val. I just got used to him. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, okay. who would you like Val to dance with? Me. Aww. Just you. <laughs> OK, yeah. well, we also have some people that have a little special something to say to you. So check Ooh. this out. <laughs> Come on, Tamar, girl. I want you to show us how you do it on the dance floor, dancing with the stars. It's your girl, Nene Pizza, and I will be rooting for you. Go out there and do your thing. Hey, Tamar, it's 
me, Sherry Shepard. Congratulations on Dancing with the Stars. You got one of the best partners, Valsh Murkowski. He loves chocolate, so he gonna eat you up. Get that mirror ball and take it home, Tamar. Girl. That's, so That's like my little brother. Let's get that squared away. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, oh, thank you guys. I love you, Nene. She's like my sister. She's amazing. She loves you. I love you. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Awesome. She's amazing. They were both on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they did amazing. Now, we love those type of shout outs, but what about the ones we don't ask for? But, Adrian, I would like to ask you this question. Yes. Do you like it when a man cat calls at you? Okay. I don't mind a cute, flirtatious cat call because it's flattering, right? You're like, oh, I look cute. Am I the only one that feels like you get cat called the most when you look crazy? <laughs> like sweatpants. Absolutely. You got your hair up looking nuts. And that's when guys will be like, yo, ma, you look cute. And you're like, wait, I do? Uh -huh. Right. So I don't mind that. But what I do mind is when you ignore them or like you don't turn around and speak to them and then they turn, be you like, ugly anyway. Yeah. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Hold yeah. on, I'm gonna need you to figure it's out how you feel about that. I yes. can't handle it. Don't touch me. Oh, don't oh, touch me. Like, no. Don't grab my arm. Oh, never. <laughs> I can't handle that. Come here, girl. No. Yeah. yeah. yeah Have you ever noticed that there's different cat calls for different region? Like, I'm from San Jose, so in San Jose, they always go like, um, they go, hi, Janita. Hey, Janita. And I kind of like you that. You're talking about my people calling <laughs> your I don't people? know. Whatever it is, I kind of like being called Janita. And then in like What's New that York. Mean? It means like it's technically Chinese, like little Chinese girl, but Aww. I get, it's cute. They just kind of put it for all Asians at this it's point. It's all Asians, and that's okay. It's a big Asian it's country. Like I'm it. under it. It's all right. All right, Chinita. But then when you go to New York, then they go, they go, what's up, ma? Or they yeah, go, that's how you what doing, I get. shorty? And it's cute. I like it. And then when you go to like Europe, then they say whatever they say, and I don't know what they're saying, but it sounds really good. Oh my God! Well, so Jeannie well, likes the cat say, calling. I like you it. Know, I like the cat calling because I do the cat calling. All right. What you doing? Like the European cat call. Yeah. I always say it's it's the difference of the delivery. The if delivery. it's more of like a compliment, it yes. feels nice. The first time I ever experienced being cat called at was when I went to live in Italy. And it's just They've the way they say there. it. They were like, ciao bella. Oh, ciao. And I'm like, oh, yes. oh, are you talking to me? And then he he threw a coin at me, but not like what? threw it. It was like wait, it was wait, like a what? beautiful. It was a beautiful toss, and he was no, like, "Beautiful, no, you're no. beautiful, you're so no. beautiful." Going. Well, I fell for it, y'all. I sure did. And I sure did. Going, going. It was the delivery. It's okay. just his, his okay. accent. Okay, okay Miss Tamar. What you mean you fell for it? Well, it made me. It made me feel really good. It was the first time I actually <laughs> had a European, and you know the Italians love black women. So you went so, out with them. I didn't go out with them. So what you I mean? Was, I was just like. Flattered, and I smiled, and I said, thank she you. She did oh this thing. God. Yes, I did that. Okay, what would be considered the disrespectful cat Oh, call? the. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> that one. When they kiss at you? No. When they go, yeah. See, Ooh, come on. The... Yeah. I happen to enjoy that. No. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm up. Uh, Anything with the mouth, if they like licking Lick? their lips. Like, yeah, that's oh. gross. <laughs> Or if they talk specifically about a certain body, body type. type. Oh. Or your body oh. part. Whoa, oh, what area is like, that? What if you walk in and they like, well, I see that thing, like, you know. <gasps> what? You yeah. know? Yeah. That's then a you're like, don't. don't get crazy. Oh, my yeah. God. I, don't First of all, get crazy. I, I can't imagine Logan acting like that. Can you imagine? No. no. My son will not cat call. <laughs> no. Okay? Yes. Yeah. You don't no, think no, that no. Aiden or Logan ever will see a hot girl in the street and be like, Damn, uh. no? <laughs> no, no, not in front of me. I know, right? I, I have it. I, I would they just two and three. Okay, wait till they yeah. twenty-two. Yeah. You guys, I don't 23. even want to think about that now. I know. I don't want to think it's about gonna that. gonna happen, now. and they're gonna be around men who are gonna show them how to do it. So you've got to no, lay down oh, the law now. No, my husband's gonna show them how Aiden be, how I Aiden's gonna do it right. Uh, right. Thank you. Yeah, thank my you, husband. Yes. Let me repeat that again. My husband is gonna show Aiden how to do it right. Oh, okay. Well, how does Adam cat call? Yeah. <laughs> Adam doesn't really cat call. 
Adam Lies. is just, he doesn't? Y'all, can you imagine my Adam being like, hey, shorty, what's up? No. Uh, you know one fine man that I would like to catcall me? Who? Channing Tatum. Oh, Channing. Woo! Talk, head to toe. The, the head yeah, to yeah, toe, girl. Yeah. Yes. Guess the name. Just make you shake. I know. Oh. Channing. Oh. Channing. Oh. Channing. Oh. In the back. Oh. In the back. Channing. I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, sweet. How does he make oh. you feel? He oh. Oh. Like oh. that. He's just so rugged and just oh. like, where do you get all that manliness? Like, it's yeah. just <laughs> all inside of him. And you know, know what? He got a little bit of soul in him. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He can dance. <laughs> Back in the day, I had a 2.3 second part in the movie Coach Carter, and Channing Tatum was in it. He uh -huh. was. And he was such a, he's such a nice guy. And you hear that, oh, too. Yeah. He was like the only, like, white boy on the, on, on the team, and yeah, yeah. it was great. We all think Channing is cute, but what if he broke into your house? Ooh. Oh, I don't he know ain't about cute. That. Uh -huh. Exactly, because, see, that's what he did to his friend, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, a life lesson. They were both living together, and he broke into his house because he wanted to show him that he needed a security system. Oh. <laughs> oh. And so what he did was he broke into the apartment, and he told him, dude, you got to you gotta do something because, you, you know, you're an actor, mm -hmm. and it's unsafe. And, and mm -hmm. So the question to you guys is... Do you ever do something like that extreme to help your friends out? <laughs> no, I not wish the hell my friend would break into my house and teach me a lesson. <laughs> yeah. That what ain't happened? Your, that ain't your business, number one. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You can tell me, right? And that's how far you should go with it. But you breaking into my house, we finna fight, and I don't even fight. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Well, you do have to be careful in that type of situation yeah, because I'm sorry. you never know. Yeah. What if something bad would have happened? Yeah. 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 No, My thing is, whatever. just buy him the security system. If you want to, you know, yeah. buy yeah. it. Yeah. Says, I don't know. Please. I think boys, though, boys do things to each other, and, they, and, they, and it just rolls off their back. And I think yeah. that's a really, let's be honest. Getting broken into is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yeah. So that was a really strong lesson he tried to teach him. I think it's funny. I do not think that's funny because you will get karate chopped in the throat. Yeah. I will pull out all my street all fighter kung fu moves. And I will be drop kicking somebody, you know, in the middle of the night. And I say don't but... do it straight out of Compton because oh. you do it there. George Zimmerman is in the news again. He retweeted a post that contained a photo of Trayvon Martin's dead body. And the post said, Z-Man is a one-man army. Now, it's been three years since Zimmerman made national news after he shot and killed the unarmed Trayvon Martin. And, you know, he was later acquitted. And the killing, he was acquitted because of the Florida Stand Your Ground law. Mm -hmm. Now, the question I have for the table is, you know, he reposted a tweet that he received. Should he be banned from Twitter? Yes. I think Zimmerman should be banned from Earth. <laughs> that man clearly has something wrong with himself. Yeah. He, like I said, I think he should be banned from Earth and put on Mars. I think he should be... <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Yeah. no, you're being really nice, because I don't even think Mars deserves him. He needs the to The furthest just be... planet in our universe. Yes, as far as possible, because that's just so disrespectful. What it's is just, wrong with him? What, I, what is going on? He's like, craving money and attention. That's well, what it is. Okay. And I think I believe that's what he's craving because it's like it's been no. three years. Let the family have some peace. I yeah. feel like even with the stand your ground, even if you wanted to say that that was right, even if you want, show some remorse. Right. Show, show some, some respect. respect. Some, remorse, yeah. some respect that you actually feel sorry for what happened. A, a person's life was taken from them, and you should respect that. Respect that there are family members that are missing their child, a mother that doesn't have a son anymore, and that is so disrespectful. Very. You can't. Even well, apparently, I think he thinks it's cool. What is wrong with him? I think he thinks it's cool now because you know he changes his picture to a Confederate flag. Right. And he decided he wanted to post this on Twitter. Like for me, as a parent, I think I would go and find him. Yeah. <laughs> like. And I'm not a girl who likes violence. Like I don't even fight because what about this face? Right. And so I'm saying like. I just think there's a line, you know what I mean? In life, mm -hmm. you know, there's a line that you don't cross. And I think that by posting the picture of that boy, 
who, who lost his life terribly. It's disrespectful. It shows yeah. that there's something wrong with him mentally. But yeah. it actually proves to me that maybe the acquit, like, acquit, like him being acquitted was not the right decision. And I know there yeah, were some people absolutely. that said, you know, well, that's the law, that's what it is. But, but posting something like this and changing your icon on, your t on Twitter to the Confederate flag, in my opinion, shows that he didn't, he wasn't afraid for his life and there was obviously some deeper Pretty much. issues there. Yeah. And I think that that proves that. Poor and baby. It, it actually, I don't know about you guys, but it made me start to question Bad. where do our laws go as far as, you know, when cases are closed. And social media. And, and things reveal things that maybe you didn't know when this case was yeah, being what, evaluated. What do we do then? You, you know, you can't reopen them. They're done. They're you sealed. can't look back and say, man, man, and it's like, that's not the action of a person who is remorseful about what happened. Yeah. Or sane. Yeah, and or that's sane. the thing. I've interviewed uh, Trayvon's mother, Sabrina Fulton, and um, she is a very nice woman. Very nice. And it's the point of put yourself... In her shoes. In her shoes. Put yourself, if that's your son or your daughter, that, you know, was killed. Mm -hmm. And three years later, you can't even go on a social media site because someone is making fun of your mm, baby. Yeah. Now, at the top of today's show, we introduced you to Anika, who emailed us about having low self-confidence and a serious lack of fashion sense. Oh, we love you, girl. So we brought her here to give her the makeover of a lifetime in 60 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. So it's time to check in to see how things are going. But first, let's get to know her a little bit better. Roll it. Hi, my name is Ainika. I'm going to be 42. And I think I'm in desperate need of a makeover. I mean, look at my clothes. They're pretty basic. I have lupus, and so the inside of me has been more of a focus, trying to get well and stay healthy. I've been dealing with lupus for about 20 years now. I get these lesions, I get discoloration and rashes and things like that. But dealing with the hair loss can be very, very difficult because it started off very small. Then it just got bigger and bigger and I'm freaking out like, am I gonna go bald? This makeover would be really great because it would give me a chance to focus on me. Well, Anika, we got you. You're gonna get done up by celebrity hairstylist and hair specialist, Dr. Carrie Williams, celebrity makeup artist, Melissa Hibbert, and our very own wardrobe stylist, Oakley Stevenson. Trust me, this is a glam emergency. Help us sister out. We're bringing in the glam squad to make you over in 60 minutes or less. I need that you're already beautiful, but right now, Jeannie's backstage to check in with our glam squad. Jeannie! Yes! How's it you, going, pumpkin? <laughs> you guys! You're gonna die. It's looking amazing. Oh my gosh, I love what you're doing right there. Okay, our glam squad, seriously, is the bestest over the restest. Now, Dr. <laughs> Carey, tell me exactly what you're thinking right now for her hair. So we're gonna definitely add some volume and some length and enhance her natural curls. Yeah, oh, natural curls. Tamara loves natural curls. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> Melissa, what's your focus when it comes to makeup? Because she's got such beautiful eyes. And that's the focus on the eyes. I'm going for that sultry look. <gasps> mm -hmm. Sultry, a little bedroom fling to Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Oh, nice, okay. Now, all the mirrors are actually covered, so you haven't seen anything yet. How are you feeling? Is that kind of awkward? Yes, but they look wonderful, so I know I'm gonna look good, too. Oh, good! <laughs> okay, I am so excited to see the final look. You guys are excited, too, I'm sure. Do you think that you guys are gonna be able to really do Anika's full glam in 60 minutes or less? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. Our next guest is a hilarious Grammy and Emmy-nominated comedian. Her latest stand-up special, Psycho, is airing <laughs> now on Showtime. <laughs> Give it up for my girl, <laughs> Margaret <laughs> Cho! <laughs> You are hilarious, girl. Thank you. Oh, you know that. Too. I love you. you. Okay. See, y'all related. Yeah, yes. I, oh, we geez. are. Girl, sisters oh, from another That's mister. Right. Right to me. <laughs> okay, so tell me, you are so outspoken. I love it. Are you really this fearless and outgoing in life? No, you know, I actually like. I was, I was, I guess I was shy or something. What? And that's why I became a comedian because then I could sort of say anything to anyone. Uh, I mean, even like I was, I was single, you know, I got a divorce and so I couldn't really meet anybody. I was like scared and I was at a restaurant and the waiter was really cute and, and he liked me, he's a young guy. And 
So my two gay friends, they're like, girl, go talk to him, go ahead, girl, talk to him. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't. So they, <laughs> they gave him my phone number. And then he called me, and then I said, you know what, come over. <gasps> and it was so, it was like so, it made me feel good. It was like a therapy dog. Oh, <laughs> sometimes a little sluttiness can be healing. Mm -hmm. You know? You hear that? Tamara. Uh, I, I'm married. I, I don't no, want to do any slutty. You always get on me. See now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're different <laughs> strokes for different folks. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You'll get me in trouble, Lonnie. Okay. Your new tour is called Psycho? Well, the, the, the show's name is There's No I in Team, but there is a show in Psycho. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's kind of long, okay. so I shortened it to Psycho. But it's like the word that people use sometimes because when, when, when women are very outspoken about something, they go, oh, she's just a psycho. Don't listen to Tell her. Uh -huh. She's just being hysterical yeah. or whatever. And, and so I wanted to actually use that word as a power word, that women's anger is really important right now. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we have to get angry about. Mm -hmm. And so this is why I'm just trying to you know, bring all women together to do this. Mm -hmm. You are always so outspoken. I love it. And how do you deal with like personal attacks when people don't agree with you? Well, I get in huge fights on social media. Really? And when I, when I bring up these arguments, like I say, well, I think a woman's uh, body is her own and you should not violate it. And you should give women's choice to do whatever you want. Like you, all these things are important. So you say that and then I get uh, called fat, ugly, uh, also, I mean, and I'm like, well, yes, but you have no cogent rebuttal. That means right. you've, you've been defeated. When you come at me for my body and my age and my weight or my looks or whatever, you've already lost the battle because mm -hmm. they have no argument. Exactly. I agree with that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Margaret, the last time you were here, you were so hilarious spinning our wheel. Will you please spin it again? One oh, more yes. time. Yes, please. <laughs> cheap about? Oh, I'm, I'm so cheap. <laughs> I am so cheap. I, you know, Asian, we're cheap. We oh, just, we're just cheap. I mean, we but like I, to save our coin, not spend it. I know, like every, everything we're cheap about, but I, um, most cheap, I, I reuse dental floss. Oh! Uh, no, I will rinse it off. Whoa! And then I will, I'll be like. We caught water, I hope. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's my, my mouth, you know. <laughs> I <laughs> The germs, the bacteria that builds up. I reuse to go <laughs> containers. I don't know about the stuff in between my yeah. teeth. Yeah. Well, I use it all the, like all the time. Like I'm obsessive about my teeth, and okay. so I'm always brushing, always flossing, and always running out of dental floss. So I always, I always have it. And I know what to get you for Christmas now. Okay. <laughs> I'll split that with you. I love you. It's a fact of life that we all got bills. Mm. Due dates are constantly popping up out of nowhere. Ain't they? And whether it's the cell phone, your rent, your car payment, at some point you gotta pay up. So today we asked our audience to bring us their bills. Let's see them, people. <laughs> Two of them the chance to compete to mark that bill paid. It's time for bills, bills, bills! Yes, I love that twerking music. Okay, okay here's how it goes. We'll call down two audience members to go head to head in a trivia battle of the bills. Mm -hmm. Now here's the catch, girls. Each question or answer will have the word bill in it. Mm. The first person to get two questions right will get their bill paid. Now, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. When I call your name, get on your feet. Stephanie Luna. Yeah. And Alicia Alvarez. <laughs> Bring your pills and get on down here. Let's go. Valley, oh, yay. Yay, all right. Now, what bill are you hoping that we could pay for you? My department bill. Yes, girl. Department store. Oh, department store. Yeah. That Ooh. works, all right. Now, Alicia, where are you from? I'm from San Diego. What up, San Diego? Now, what kind of bill did you bring to the show? 
Girl, my car payment. Hey! <laughs> How much okay, is that for? 300. Uh, Hers is for 300. How much is yours for? $234. Woo! Girl, you've been shopping. Ooh. All right. All right, well, all right, all right. All right, y'all got some bills. So it's time to put your thinking caps on because it's time to pay your bill. All right? That's right. So remember, this is a bills theme trivia. Mm -hmm. So the word bill somehow is incorporated into either the question or the answer. Just answer two correctly, guys, and we're going to be paying your bill. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! So that. But holla, 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 holla. If you answer incorrectly, your opponent has the chance to steal, so know your stuff. Any questions, ladies? No. no. All right. Now. All right, here we go. Question number one. In 1995, this actor had his first title role in Billy Madison. Who is the actor that played Billy? <laughs> Stephanie. Will Smith? Sure. No. You want to steal? No. You don't have a go? Okay, next question. Listen up. The first 10 amendments of the U.S. Constitution are collectively called what? You did it first, Alicia. Bill of Rights? Yes, you got it. <laughs> yes, yes, you Alicia. Okay, you can catch up. Be confident, you got this. Here's the next question. Michael Jackson sang, this girl is not his lover. Y'all tried it. What is it? Billy Jean? Yeah! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. Okay. You guys are making me nervous here, okay? Right. Go ahead, Lonnie, next one. Okay. Next question. What famous girl group sang the song Bills, Bills, Bills? Oh. Kathy Shout. <laughs> yeah! Okay. We won't be paying your bills today, but the, uh, but the, uh, wait. We have the real t shirt yeah. There you go. Got the real t shirt girl. Very exclusive. Yeah. Okay, girl. Look, she's so late with it, too. I'm just trying to wait to see what's going on. Now, to pay your bill, honey, you ready for it? I'm ready, How much is the bill, Adrian? $300. $300. There's one. one. Two. two. Three! So at the beginning of the show, we introduced you to Ainika, a busy mom who suffers from lupus and as a result, low self-esteem. Ainika's shrunken confidence prevented her from feeling good about herself the way she deserves and her sense of fashion. So she reached out to us to help her and that we did in 60 minutes or less. Yes. Anika's son, Antonio, is with us right now. You're very handsome. Thank you. Hi, Antonio. You're so cute. So tell us, why does your mom deserve this? Well, my mom worked hard all her life. She's been raising me by herself most of her life. And wow, wow. She spent most of all her time making sure I look good and know. And you do. This makeover is perfect for her, so now she can spend time on herself. And Aww, I, I love really that. Good for her. I love a son who understands how important it is for your mom to feel pampered. Yeah. Because she put all the attention into you, and now she deserves it, right? Mm -hmm. So, Glam Squad, how easy or hard was it for you guys to work under the gun at 60 minutes? It's a very <laughs> short amount of time. Very short amount of time. A lot of pressure. We love it, though. We love yeah. what we do, and we work great together, so it was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can't wait any longer, yeah, right? I We're excited. Yeah. Me too. So, so excited. Okay. Just to get a refresher, let's take a peek at how Ainika looked before using our Hollaback Hologram. Oh, hello. There she is. There she is. She's got a great little bod. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. So now we're just going to enhance her. Who is ready to check out Anika's new look? Okay. I'm so excited. Hold my hand. Anika, come on out.
stupid right now. Really? I can't. Me too. Oh my God, Anika, you look amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my. So gorgeous. Not that you needed any help, but oh my goodness, yes, it's on your heart. This is your mama. She beat to death. What do oh you my. think? <laughs> what do you think about your mom's new look? She looks absolutely amazing. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So, wow. Dr. Car Kari, I have to find out, how did you create this hairstyle? Well, you know, we definitely used some clip-in. Yeah. It, getting length and volume was really, really important because of the hair loss, but we wanted to do something that wasn't going to add too much tension to her scalp, yeah. so that we're keeping her scalp healthy. She really wanted some big, fabulous hair, so that's yeah. exactly what we did. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know, wow. so and now, uh, Melissa, did that. I mean, they look like brother and sister now, yeah. don't they? I know. The makeup is on point. What did you do? Well, I, she has beautiful skin, yeah. so it was really about me focusing on her eyes. And that red dress, nothing says sultry like a smoky eye. Yes. So I wanted to play that up on her and give her just really beautiful brows and a nice soft lip. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. You killed that. Oakley, I'm obsessed with her shape. She is the lady in red. Tell us about this dress. Well, I figured for her body type, it'd be best to have a nice, clean silhouette like this. And it also adds a mature look, but still being fun and playful. Wow. Hopefully, it will help add to her confidence. I need that the hot look. I need that you look absolutely stunning. You haven't been able to see yourself because we hidden all of the mirrors backstage <laughs> mm -hmm. from her. So are you ready to see the new you? Yes. OK. Yeah. first time I've ever gotten a, a makeover and um, I look fabulous. Yes, you, do. <laughs> yes. you better say it, girl. That's right. You definitely you do. You absolutely do. And I just, I just feel really blessed to have had this opportunity oh. to, to have this things, these things done for me. So oh. special. You deserve oh, it. Thank you. You deserve it. it. And there we go. Another successful glam in less than 60 minutes. We could not have done this. I told you we had an amazing team. Without Dr. Carey, Oakley, and Melissa, thank you so much.